The first lesson in contact juggling is going to be balance. We're going to learn three balances to start that will be fundamental for body rolling. There's four steps to learning each balance. First one we're going to learn is in the palm. Rest the ball in your palm and leave it there. Make sure that you can balance it, that it's solid, that it's not rocking or shaking. And then once you feel very solid with that balance, you can start introducing air. Introducing air helps you learn where the ball is going to go and how to correct the ball once it starts to fall out of your balance. You do so by going side to side, up and down, and once you're comfortable, balancing in circles. One of the fundamental rules to contact juggling is doing this both sides both ways. So, again, in the left side, introducing the balance to your palm, then introducing air. Up and down, side to side, and around in circles. Once you feel like you have that solid, you want to start throwing and catching introducing a bigger error so that you'll be able to learn how to catch it and keep it in a balance when it's unstable. Throwing and catching. The important part about catching is the cushion when you come down with the ball and not having it hit your hand hard, but coming down with it to have the gentle ease to work with gravity. Again in the other hand, throwing and catching, cushioning the ball. Once you've learned throwing and catching, we can start with a little bit of rolling. Starting on the inside of your arm, you can roll it to the balance point and try and catch it. If you've learned catching already, this should be quite easy. The second balance we want to learn is just on the tips of your fingers. Again, introducing the balance to the tips of your fingers, introducing error by moving the ball up and down and side to side and in circles. Doing so on the other side, up and down, side to side, and in circles. Learning how to throw and catch from that balance. And then learning how to roll to that point. Placing it on your arm, rolling it up to those fingertips. The third balance is the cradle. There are two ways to do a cradle, one with two fingers and the other with three. I personally, I like three finger cradles where I place that finger a little bit down before I place the ball in the balance there. Some people like two finger cradles where they place it just on the two fingers like this. If you stick with contact juggling, you'll need to learn both but for now, you get to choose. Two fingers or three fingers, whichever you're more comfortable with. Again, the four rules of balancing is learning how to balance it there on both sides. Introducing it. Learning how to go up and down, side to side. Introducing error. And then learning how to go in circles. Both sides, introducing air, up and down, side to side, and in circles. Once you feel comfortable with the introduction of errors and that you're able to correct, you can start throwing and catching into your cradle. Just bringing your hand down and throwing the ball up. Don't forget to cushion the ball on the way down or you're going to have a very difficult time catching it without dropping. Again, both sides. And once you feel comfortable with both sides, start going back and forth between each cradle.
Dun, 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 dun.